It's an epidemic, folks. Many across Metro Atlanta communities are now trying to formulate a plan to stop the gun violence to help save our children. Since Monday, we have reported on a handful of shootings involving teens from a Henry County house party that left at least 100 teens running for cover to an Atlanta playground where two children were shot. Even a child's bedroom is no longer a safe space with a bullet hitting a 10 year old boy while he slept. Fortunately, these are all cases where the children live to see another day, but some Metro Atlanta children have not been so fortunate. Absolutely. Now their families are channeling that grief into making making a difference for their community. 11 Alive's Karis Belger has that story for us tonight, and it's all new at six. Tiffany Smith has spent the last four months trying to channel her grief for all moms to fight for all children. Um, and so that's where I stand. I'll fight. Her son, 15 year old Cameron Jackson, was killed during a shooting over this past Thanksgiving weekend near Atlantic Station. And so, in the spirit of my son, you know, I just decided to fight. Today, she's hoping the new Reverend Timothy McDonald Community Outreach Center at the First Iconium Baptist Church will open the door to solutions. The community center is partially the work of Black Push, an organization that helps address the root causes of gun violence, says founder Sean Smith. When it came to gun violence, the community saw like community issues and they started in the community and we can resolve them in the community. The center will give organizations a place to collaborate on a common goal. 12 nonprofits will have their offices inside of the outreach center with a goal of taking a holistic approach to combating youth gun violence. It's at the heart of Charmaine Brown's work as the founder of Jared's Heart of Success. Hey, this work is definitely hard and you need the support to be able to keep going. After her son and the organization's namesake was shot and killed in 2015, she started working to stop gun violence amongst children. Now Brown's nonprofit will be housed in this center. This is what community is all about, yeah. reaching back and helping others. Healing a community and preventing more hurt. Kara Spelger, 11 Alive News. So the community center officially opens up its doors tomorrow. We're going to have all of that, how you can get involved right now on 11alive.com.